I'm here in Volo behind the St. Peter's Church and there's a cemetery here. I'm going to turn around for a second so you can see it. It's an old cemetery behind the church and I just stopped by to look at this Virgin Mary statue and I'm pretty sure this has got to be a representation of Rhea and saving the uh, Sacred Heart bloodline, but I want to scan in here cl close and I want to show you what she's got her foot on. A serpent with some sort of fruit in its mouth. Destroying that serpent bloodline with the Osirian pharaonic bloodline and the stars look at those stars on that statue okay there's a lot more here than just a statue and this is the mother of God not in my opinion the actual physical woman who gave birth to Jesus, but I think this has got a lot more to it than you, most people understand. And uh, depending on what you think or who you think Jesus Christ is, and I think he was pharaonic, I think they just hid his story. I know Ralph Ellis talks about him being a, a grandson of the last Pharaoh, Caesarian, and he may have a point to that, but. There's a lot here to this symbolism than the average person understands. And she's always shown with her foot uh, on that serpent. Even the Our Lady of Guadalupe, I believe, is also presented that way. Okay, so I'm going to shut this off now.